Hi, this is Leo from ThemeChills.com. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to go about creating this carousel that you see here. So, this is actually a widgetized component. So, what we do first is we go into the Photos Custom Post Type area and we've created four different custom post types here, as you can see. Sorry, not custom post types, I meant four different posts. So let's go add a new one just so you can see. And just bear with me for a sec. So what we'll do is, you don't need to add a title, but I would recommend putting something in. I'm just going to put this for now. It doesn't really require a description, but once again, if you want some context, you can just add a, a note here for yourself. Um, the key here is to add a featured image. So I'm just going to let up the media library load up. And say we want to add a picture of, what's a good one? Hmm. Let's just add this one here. Set featured image. Publish. And then we go here and there it is. So that's all there is to it really. Now one thing I'll point out is how this displays through the customizer because as I said it is a widget. So if you go into widgets, home page it's this theme chills photos widget that you see here and just to give you a run through here is the section title that you can see the section description that you can see here signatures is simply a matter of uploading the signatures through the media library and then assigning the path to it now as we scroll down this will pull in the images that you saw before but what's cool is you can actually exclude um, an image if you wanted to. So let's suppose we don't want to show this one. We just need to find the ID and add it in here, in this text field here, and it'll remove that um, from view. So let's do that now. So let's just find out which one this image is. Okay, and it's this one I can see here. So it's photo ID 94. Just going to copy that, put that in. Just thinking. There you go. So that's removed now. And you can do that across the board. Um, so it gives you a fair amount of flexibility. But let's reinstate that now. Okay. And another thing I'll point out is the call to action that you see here. You can edit this to whatever you like. So you could put something like that. And you can put where you want the button to actually go to um, just by putting the URL there. Um, so just put in the full path and it'll link directly to that page. Now, if you don't put the text in, you actually won't um, get a call to action button so the the choice is yours really whether you want one or not but that's all there is to it now as I said it is a widgetized component so if I wanted to say put it below the countdown timer that we have here I can do that fairly simply and there you go so now I've got the countdown timer here and then the our story section appears just below it well, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, until next time, thanks.